What's going on everybody? Welcome to Ajax Reviews. Today we're reviewing a movie by request. Today we review Motel Hell. Directed by Kevin Connor. A seemingly friendly farmer and his sister kidnap unsuspecting travelers and bury them alive, using them to create a special meat they're famous for. Way back in the day, there were two cable companies. One was called Select TV, the other one was called On. Um, On had two channels, Select TV had like four. I had what was called On. Two channels, so we didn't get a whole lot of movies, but when we did, there were gems, and this is one of those gems. Um, way back in 84, 85, I caught Motel Hell, uh, middle of the day, <laughs> surprisingly. Middle of the day, I just got home from school. I was like 10 years old, maybe, nine, 10 years old. And I had heard my mom talking about this movie, like for about a week, a week prior, about uh, these people being buried in the ground and, and how they're like Cabbage Patch Kids because it was, it was around that time, and I wanted to see it. And so I came home and I put on TV. My dad hadn't returned home from work yet. He wasn't supposed to be home for a couple hours. My mom was doing something else. I don't know what the hell she was doing. And that allowed me to turn on the old cable box and watch Motel Hell for the first time. Now, I remember only a couple parts of this movie. Now, I've, I've seen it tons of times since then. But uh, this first time, I know I only remembered, um, I remembered the, the pig head on uh, Farmer Vincent. I remembered the, the woman who was Mrs. Ballbreaker on Porky's. Now, don't ask me why a nine or a 10 year old was watching Porky's, but I fucking did. And I love that movie. But that's another discussion for another time. But I remembered her. I remembered the, the pig mask and I remembered the heads in the ground. That's all I remembered. I don't remember if they were buried or what the hell, but they, there was heads sitting there. And I remember there being like plants around it, but that could just be my recollection being wrong. Anyway, that's a little backstory on this film with me. So let's get into the review. It's because he mixes the pork with a... Uh, it's not every day that a movie like Motel Hell comes along. It's filled with fun characters, and it has that classic 1980s feel. Now, I'm probably gonna get chewed up in the comments for this next comment, but this is not a movie that I would consider a good movie, but I would consider it a good time. Let me explain that. The best way for me to explain what I'm talking about is it's kind of like an old Godzilla movie. Old Godzilla movies are far from good movies. They're not cinematic gems. They're fun to watch. It's a guy in a Godzilla suit stomping on miniatures. It's fun. And I compare this movie to that. No, it's not Farmer Vincent stomping on poor innocent victims, which would be a cool movie in and of itself. but. It's just a fun movie. It's fun to watch, it's fun to get to know the characters, and it's fun to see how everything unfolds. But as far as being a cinematic gem, I'm sorry, it's not, but it is a fun movie. And the thing is, this movie wasn't made to be good. It was made to be entertaining. It kinda sucks that these days, everybody's hung up on, oh, is it good? How is the cinematography? How is this? How is the budget? Et cetera, et cetera. Well, let's stop and think for a second what movies are. They're entertainment. They're supposed to be entertaining. And that's what this is. What is this, dog style? No, oh, man. Oh, oh. Oh. So can movies be good and entertaining? Absolutely. But they can also be entertaining and fun while not being very good. And Motel Hell? is fun as hell, pun intended. Now, Rory Calhoun, he kills it as Farmer Vincent. And let's not forget Nancy Parsons. She's a trip in everything she's in. I mean, let's not forget the Porky's movies here. And this movie is actually just a mix of Texas Chainsaw Massacre 
and the Beverly Hillbillies. Watch it again. You'll see what I'm talking about. But that's two of my favorite things. Is the movie boring? No, but it is slow. It's never boring. And it's rewatchability, it'll last for years to come. So now let's talk about the things that I like. Just how goofy the movie is. I like how the movie just has fun with itself. Another thing I really liked is just Nancy Parsons. Hands down, no matter what she does, man, it's funny. It's good, she's a good actress. She played some crazy characters. And let's just not forget Miss Ballbreaker, man. Grabbing a, you know, I mean, come on. And Rory Calhoun, he killed it, man. Just did an amazing job. Way better than the job he did in Night of the Lepus. Another thing I like about the movie is just the feel of it. Just, it feels fun. Like, there's never a point in the movie where you're like, oh, this movie's taking itself too seriously. No, it sets a tone and it just goes with it. It just says, fuck it and goes, man. It, it wants you to have fun. It's bringing you along for the ride. And that's exactly the feel that it puts off. And that's exactly what it does. Now, the scene where Vincent is wearing the pig head is just classic. That scene just, it's again, one of the things that I remembered as a child. And my son was watching the movie with me. And I looked up and I tapped him. I'm like, hey, bud. He's like, what? And I said, look, it's Peppa Pig. He's like, no, it's not. And he got all mad. I'm like, oh, you're right, you're right. Peppa's a girl. That's George. Man, he got pissed off, dude. It was so funny. But I told him it was Peppa Pig. Now it's time to talk about the things that I disliked. There's really not a whole lot for me to talk about right here. Um, if I had to really choose something that I did not like, it's the guy that was in the band, that was in the van, that had the fake mustache and fake beard. Like, why, dude? Like, couldn't grow one <laughs> like why, why why the fuck you got to cover your face like are you afraid that like your mom's gonna see you in this terrible movie like that's the only thing about this movie that i'm just like what the fuck so i didn't really like that so in conclusion would i recommend this movie hell yes pun intended again it's a classic 1980s horror slash dark comedy what's not to like about it it should really be in every horror collection. It's a perfect mix of horror and humor. And it hits it perfectly without being overly exaggerated in either aspect. So, grab your favorite snack, your favorite beverage, your favorite person, and pop your ass in front of the TV, sit, and have fun with this movie. With all that being said, I'm going to give this movie a 3.5 out of 5. And that's going to do it for me for today, guys. So remember, until next time, stay smart, stay clean, keep the dream. Don't let the man get you down because if he does, he might give you brain syphilis and then smoke your meat. Nobody wants that because, well, I mean, if it's a girl smoking your meat, maybe. <laughs>